Welcome back to another tutorial. Now this is a this will be kind of simple but short, but it's something I want you to, to to remember all the time. On power plant, you will get yourself killed jumping up here with a griffin at the wrong time. Uh, it's almost like no right time to jump up here. Like it's almost like a catch twenty two after a while because people know griffins like getting up here, and it it'll work. You know, you'll see a griffin up there doing a lot of damage, but uh, you want to be you you really want to be strategic about it, and you want to try and plan to somehow get off of the off of it quickly. But when you jump up on this little platform here. Oftentimes, especially facing the opposite way. So if I'm jumping from the opposite side and the team's coming in from this this side, basically to uh, to my back, you can get killed very quickly because the team can be waiting for you to jump up there and unload. So right now I'm jumping up here. They're firing at this other uh, basically plasma griff. I have my DB. I jumped up here. Now in this case, you see it looks like there's a stalker, but then there's a target that I have that's at 219. That's well within my 300. And then I believe I'm going to go ahead and cut loose on that target. So we'll wait and see. You, If you look at my cans, you don't see the back of them open. When they open, that's when you fire. So right now, my cans are still closed. I'm taking damage now, okay? When I jumped up there, you see my health is starting to drop. And I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. And it looks like I'm about to start. I'm actually firing. Okay, there go the cans. You see the back of the cans opened up. And now we're going to start. We're going to cut loose. Okay, they're within my 300. We're going to go ahead and cut loose, try and get them out of here. And so that's the thing about when you're in a, in a DB is the release time of your weapons is so fast. It's, it's almost scary, right? And that's what makes the DB so, that's why it's a death button. It's the release. Look at that. They were already almost dead, but my weapons were released. So now what I'm doing, this is my exit. Okay, I'm exiting to the right to go ahead and drop back down, back to a secure spot that's safe. Okay. But oftentimes when you get up here, you have to you have to know your timing. You got to pay attention. If they're just standing over there, it may not be a good deal. If you have somebody like there was a person already up there fighting. When I jumped up there, they're still dealing with that target, so they may not switch off to me as quickly. But if you look at my health, I lost a lot of health up here while taking that taking that uh, taking that target down. So I may have been able to save my health if I had to just went around the side or something like that. But as you can see, I was at 69, and my health is steadily dropping, and it drops all the way down to like 22, I think, before we're done. Now I did get this one out of there, but look, my legs messed up. I'm down to 24, just like that. So really, was it worth it is the question. So sometimes we get kills, but they're not really worth the damage that you received. And maybe instead of jumping on top, I may have just kind of, instead of moving this way, moved back to the outside, looked around the corner to see if I could take some shots. But instead, I went ahead and went up top with this area and, you know, got myself, I got a kill. But I got myself destroyed more so than getting that kill. So in this case, the kill really wasn't worth it. The kill, the way I went about getting that kill wasn't worth it. So just remember, you know, when you're in these situations, try and come, try and move in the best direction is going to help you to save your bot, do damage. Uh, that's the biggest thing. Doing damage without, with taking the least amount of damage from them. Okay, yeah, I got the kill. But look at my health. So I lost a lot of health just jumping up there. I was at 80,000 on my health. And then when I jumped up there, by the time I get back down, I am down to, what is that, 2,000? Let's see, 2,400? <laughs> yeah, I'm down to 24,000 health just that quickly, okay, just by jumping up there. So just remember when you're on power plant, be very mindful about jumping up on top of that little platform because it does give you a good area of, of you say area of fire or you know i can't think of the word for it but you're 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 in an elevated position okay and so you you have an elevated position to fire on the enemy 
but the problem is sometimes having an elevated position on this platform makes it easy for them to hit you too and actually sometimes a lot easier for them to hit you than for you for you to hit them and they already ready got you locked in so as soon as you jump up there they just cut loose and you're pretty much a dead duck so this is the ghost and i'm out hope this is helping you guys slap that like Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And as always, choose like over death.